Hey everybody, this is Jay with JRWeldy.net and um, I've been doing some hardware videos but today I want to do a software video because it's Tuesday, June 6, 7.03 p.m. and over the weekend my network went belly up. My uh, gateway and wireless router all went nutso on me. So um, I couldn't get my Zen server back. It just kept losing connectivity on the new router that I put in and uh, it just frustrated me to no end and I had basically backups of what I needed that were on those ser virtual servers so I just bit the bullet and wiped it clean and I was going to put Zen server back on and uh, rebuild the virtual machines when I came across a very interesting application called and I think it's this yeah Proxmox Proxmox um, all web-based it runs on a bare-bones machine so uh, I went ahead and installed it took about five minutes to get set up and uh, it's a like a Zen server with a web-based Zen Center uh, that can be reached from anywhere. And uh, I went ahead and set up uh, my Windows 2012 server in there and my uh, guacamole. And then if you go into the local repository, you can, uh, and I'm going to just go ahead and remove this. And this is where it stores uh, the backup files but uh, you can uh, download pre-made templates here so it has quite a few templates available and these are um, a lot of turnkey VMs like you got uh, code igniter observium uh, revision control uh, the turnkey stuff all the way through OpenVPN, Mambo, uh, Sweet, uh, CRM, Lime Survey, uh, Media Server, Foodsoft. I have no idea what that is. So then you can download that into your local store and use it as a template to create virtual machines. Uh, pretty neat. So we'll let that run through. It tells you, you know, the percentage. I'm at 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll just go ahead and let that download. Um, and we'll go ahead and hop in and look at this. So basically, uh, it has the same functionality and form as a Zen server. And I'm a Mac user primarily. So, I always had to figure out a way to run Zen Center um, on another computer and then remote to that computer to manage my VMs. This is really nice because you can really just forward this through your firewall and have access and create virtual machines on the fly. Uh, and it gives you all the pertinent information just like Zen Server. But if you double click the name of the virtual machine then it comes up and gives you a terminal window in a separate HTML window and uh, and it's an encrypted connection which is kind of cool so uh, you can reach your VMs you know either at terminal level or uh, at the desktop level click here you get a, a drop down with all the basic uh, controlled alt deletes etc you can shut down the VM from here and restart it um, we'll go to the my guacamole instance and there's a terminal window for guacamole So that's pretty cool. A lot of functionality here. 
uh, let's go back to the local and you can see now that I have this turnkey food soft and if I want to create that then I click on create an LXC container and uh, have to fill in some of the stuff but uh, it basically uh, goes through and oh, we'll do that so you can see I'll give it a host name and this is um, what I say it was food salt your template, go to the root disk, we'll give this 10 gig, one CPU, we'll bump this up to uh, 2512, we'll use uh, DHCP for both of these, DNS is host, confirm it all and finish and it creates a container for you and dimly in the back here you can see the, the uh, 102 container is now there and let's go ahead and start it it actually may not be finished provisioning. Yeah, it's not finished provisioning. Got time out. Okay. So, oh, yeah. See down here. Duh. Uh, this is your log. And as you can see here, it's still creating the virtual machine. But I just thought it was kind of cool that... Uh, I had no idea about Proxmox before uh, the weekend, and uh, now we have um, a Proxmox server in-house, which is damn cool. So we've got to create there. Let's go ahead and see if we can start it now. Yeah, now it's started, and we can hop into the console uses no VNC so anyway um, playing with it a little bit through the course of today and yesterday I just kind of really think it's damn cool and uh, check it out Proxmox do a Google on it and uh, See what it can do for you. Does install from ISO, local CD ROM. You can upload um, virtual machines from like Bitnami and Turnkey. Um, a lot of functionality here. It's pretty cool and really easy to set up. Have a great day, everybody. I'm Jay with jrweldy.net. Have a nice day.